Hi, or welcome back. Thank you for liking this video. Thank you for all donations and subscriptions. Okay, um, let's tap in. You know what I'm saying? Thank you so much for watching. Today, I am doing all fake signs. Okay, so I am going to be starting off with Scorpio. Uh, all the fake signs that we have are Scorpio, Taurus, Leo, and Aquarius. So those are the sun signs that I will be focused on. All right, so Scorpio. I want you to know this is your first and last time finding this video here on this particular channel. This is your monthly forecast. Going forward, you can find it on my second channel. The link to my second channel is in the description box. Please excuse the nails, okay? I do have a nail appointment coming up on the first. All right, yes, excuse them. They're looking jack, but baby, we're gonna make it do what it do. So, let's tap in. Divine Spirit. Thank you for clear communication and divine protection. I had to say that shit again. All right, Scorpio, what is it that you want to talk about? Mental clarity, though. What is it that you want to talk about? Concerning Scorpio for the month of May, their opposite sign in um, Taurus. Taurus season, month of May for Scorpio. What can Scorpio expect? What's coming towards Scorpio? What can Scorpio expect in the month of May? Oh, damn. Right on my lap. Damn. The devil and the seven of pentacles. Let's keep, um, let's keep pulling for Scorpio energy, please. Thank you so much. The ten of wands, two of wands, knight of cups. Let's get some more information on the table. <clears throat> Six of Pentacles, clarifying the devil. Nine of Pentacles, clarifying the Seven of Pentacles. Oh, jeez. Seven of Wands, clarifying the Ten of Wands. Three of Swords, clarifying the Two of Wands. The Star, clarifying Knight of Cups. Oh, wow. Did you hear that confirmation? With the ace of pentacles at the top of the deck. All right, let's jump in. Let's see what's going on here. And if you see me touching on the cards often, I like to do that because I like to feel the energy for some reason. Um, I for some reason. I know what reason, but I'm not going to reveal that. But when I touch on the cards, I can feel the energy. All right, let me see what's going on. <clears throat> Your monthly affirmation is I trust God's timing. A plan is in place. So I wanted to get that in there as well. So I can get the whole scope of everything that's happening here. Okay, so we have a Capricorn energy or someone could be a low vibrational Taurus. All right, or an actual Capricorn. All right, someone um, sees that you're focused on yourself. You know, you once felt burdened by this energy. In the month of May, it's like you can release these burdens once you continue to stand your ground. It's like whoever this toxic energy was in the month of May, they're coming in to balance out the situation because they see that you all about your business. All right, you're moving forward with your plans and you're succeeding your plans. The star energy being here, it's like you've been trusting God's timing the entire time. Even when you felt burdened, even when you felt heartbroken, you still made those plans. You made those plans with hope that the divine would help you foresee them, that the divine would grant you with the blessings to actually enact them and bring them into your reality, Scorpio. So it's like... I feel like whoever was planning to come towards you for a romance is now heartbroken because you've stepped up your defenses. So in the month of May, you may have to defend yourself against a Sagittarius, a low vibrational Sagittarius, Taurus, or Capricorn energy. All right, you may have to defend yourself against this individual and you may have to just stand your ground and continue to walk forward, walk away because you have to remember, Scorpio, the energy that, they, that you felt the last time you were in their presence. Okay, God said, trust his or her timing. A plan is in place. And it's like, 
you got the ace of pentacles on the top of this deck the ace of cups on the top of this deck so it's like this person whoever this person is that wanted to come in and have some form of a romantic um beginning with you or um was planning to come in and like woo you off your feet or whatever scorpio it's it's like you're not having it you're defending yourself because you're too busy leveling your stuff you're in a star energy like this person is ultimately heartbroken because it's like they made plans but whoever or whatever they made plans with it's like it failed ultimately and i hate to be saying that that sounds real bad but it's like whatever you feel that was burdening you, whatever, whoever you feel was toxic, all of that shit is falling to the wayside in the month of May because your faith is strong, okay? And your faith may have increased after the heartbreak. So it's like if this person had the agenda to get you to bend or bind to their will, it was a motherfucking failure, Scorpio. And, and they're heartbroken behind that shit. They like, oh man, my plans didn't work. Yeah, they didn't. Cause you are already moving forward in your star energy. Like you not trying to, you know, you're not trying to backtrack. You're in the nine of pentacles, seven of pentacles. So it's like you, you're you tending to whatever garden. It's like you've already planted seeds of heart for two harvest. So it's like, you're checking on your seeds okay you're going outside and you're watering your seed sorry about that but you're going outside and you're watering your own seeds scorpio you like nah you going outside you checking your garden you like wait a minute has it sprouted yet oh, okay what's that is that a weed so it's like this little low vibrational energy is a weed and you're plucking all weeds from your garden you don't have time this is beautiful so once again um scorpio in the month of may continue to trust god's time and a plan is in place you can expect for your investments to come a uh, full circle right on back to you and know that whoever was like in your energy that was fucking up and fucking over they're gonna try to come in and reconcile in the month of may all right but you continue to be in your star energy and get to this new money and this new love okay i'll say until next time be well bye